He's trying to talk short now and again with himself, and I think that's his only hope to but catch uh, Joshua with one of these pot shots. But a lovely jab. It's virtually close. And that jab of Joshua's. We haven't seen an awful lot of it in the past, but it's impressive. This has been a hard, hard night already for Dominic Brazil. And he's making Joshua work for this. This is what we wanted. Far better, maybe, than expected. We're winning nothing, they're giving it a real go. Yeah, we're talking about the jab of Joshua. It's not something we've seen very much in the past. Are you he, he, has, he hasn't needed to use it. The shots that he throws are normally good enough to get his opponents out of there. This fight, he could fight like this all night long without getting out of breath, basically. What he, what, Josh just needs to keep doing what he's doing. This guy's going to walk onto Brazil's going to walk onto something big. But, uh, and Daniel Joshua's doing the right thing. He's staying cool, staying calm, not taking any unnecessary risks and just winning easy. Round four, only the second time Anthony Joshua has heard those words in a boxing ring. Dylan White took him into the seventh. But White had given him a scare. Brazil hasn't troubled him other than his tremendous courage and his durability. That left eye, or the right eye, excuse me, of Brazil, virtually closed now. You know, Joshua hasn't really had to work on his defence in any of his fights, so it's actually commendable how few times Brazil has got through with punches. You know, the upper body movement's good, the replays are going to have the electric. Yeah, as Brazil was coming in as well, I mean, he really did land that sweetly, but Brazil has absorbed it, came back, throwing punches. Yes, they missed, but he's showing terrific resistance here. How long, though, till Joshua breaks his resistance? Brazil seems like it's a fraction of a second behind Joshua in every exchange. It really is. Look at look when they throw combinations. He's just always that, that bit behind him. Yeah, that's exactly right, Dave. It's just the speed. He can't cope with the speed of Joshua. Good head work from, from uh, Joshua there, slipping the jab and throwing a quick left hook. You know, he needs to do more of that stuff. Zorbit came back, throwing punches. Yes, they missed. But he's showing terrific resistance here. How long, though, till Joshua breaks his resistance? Brazil seems like it's a fraction of a second behind Joshua in every exchange. It really is. Look at look when they throw combinations. He's just always that, that bit behind him. Yeah, that's exactly right, Dave. It's just the speed. He can't cope with the speed of Joshua. Good head work from, from uh, Joshua there, slipping the jab and throwing a quick left hook. You know, he needs to do more of that stuff. Brazil is just trying to grind his way through this round, isn't he? So far has avoided taking too much heavy punishment. And has already survived a lot longer than most people were predicting. The smart money, the so-called smart money, was on Joshua win inside three rounds. Of the guard there. That was a power shot. Brazil shaking his head. It didn't mean much to him, but that shook him. Maybe that game plan of tucking up. Just gonna fall over. They looked him in the eyes and I'm still saying to him, I'm still here. I'm still watching, I'm still fighting. Quality shot from Joshua there. Left flip, crisp left hook on the bank. Yeah, Joshua's works a far higher class than Brazil, but I'm just delighted that Brazil is hanging on in there and making a fight of it. There he goes with the closed see, eyes <laughs> tactics. <laughs> see, he's not. Josh is not allowing him to get into a position to throw oh, any power punches. Right he's keeping sure him off balance right with the jab. Right? And the you speed of his own punches, this guy, he's not been allowed to set anything up. 
I'm really impressed with the coolness and the technique that Josh is showing. So, another couple of rounds, then we can maybe ask questions about his stamina as well. Because I think that's a real case for the heavyweight division. Well, he looked very relaxed sitting on his stool there, Joshua. At this pace, I believe uh, Joshua could uh, comfortably, he could do 20 rounds like this. He's not, he's not, he's not being asked to push his cardio system, he's not throwing sustained combinations as yet. And he's, he's just picking his shots and landing clean, crisp punches. Just like that there. <laughs> exactly. Little raid, nice combination. Brazil, as we've said all night long, just can't cope with the speed. But I wonder if it starts to play in the back of Joshua's mind at some point in this fight. Now, hang on, I've hit him with my best shots. Everybody else has gone down. This guy isn't going down. Some people you need to soften up first. No matter how great you are, you have, no matter how a big puncher you are, you have to break people down, maybe work the body first, slow him down, then the big shots will come. And he's certainly absorbing a lot of headshots, Brazil, and is firing back. That was a solid right hand that caught him high in the head, and I can scramble your senses. We've seen a lot of fighters knocked out with that punch. But he's taking the shots and coming forward. Oh, he just missed with the right hand counter there, Joshua. Brazil just slipped inside. Otherwise, that could have been real trouble for him. Well, it's a good point you made, David, about the stamina. Brazil is not taking anything out of Joshua, is he? He isn't, he isn't. He's not putting a real sustained pressure on Josh. He's basically standing just outside punching distance, waiting to get hit, in, like he did just then. No head movement, lateral movement. He needs to do something a little different if he, if he wants to win the rounds. Now Joshua steps up the tempo a little bit more. Brazil continues to fire back, landed a right hand, seemingly without effect. Joshua again ripping through. Brazil looking to attack the body in response. Every time he's been tagged upstairs, he looks to try and land something at Joshua's midsection. I think Joshua got a lot of satisfaction out of this performance, because this guy's making him work, he's not laying on a plate for him. OK, all we're getting from him is stubborn resistance, he's not winning anything, he's not capable of winning anything. But he's done an awful lot better than anybody expected. And Joshua teeing off again as we get down inside the last 30 seconds here of round five. I'd like to see Joshua show a little bit more imagination, maybe change his look a little bit. You know, maybe start working the body, start, start changing up. What he's doing at the moment is working, he's winning rounds. But, you know, I'd like to see him, you know, close the show, land three or four unanswered clean punches on the button. When he makes a miss like he did then, make him make him pay, make him make, make every one of uh, Brazil's punches that are slow, make him pay for them. Good shot from good shot from us. Complete control. Complete control for anybody scored down there. Complete control for the first second of the I'm amazed, David, that he's taking these punches because these are the same punches that's been knocking people out. He's been completely high in the head, he was caught cleanly in the jaw just on the bell there, and he's looking straight back at Joshua. I mean, I'm amazed at the toughness this fellow's got. Amazed. He doesn't have a lot of technique. Nothing to worry about as far as Josh is concerned. He's showing amazing toughness, punch resistance. I'd like to see the shot that uh, Brazil was put down with against uh, Mansour. He got dropped heavily against Mansour. I'd love to see that shot because Josh was hitting with, with 30 or 40 clean on the punch. That had knocked out pretty much all of his prior 16, 16 opponents. It's probably a shot he didn't see coming. That's why yeah. it knocked him over. It's the one. See, he's, he's primed all the while for Josh's punches tonight. He knows what's coming. No matter how hard you punch, if your opponent, if you're able to see your opponent's punches coming, you can brace them. You, you can, can take the ones right. that take them out and the ones that you don't see. You're right. Okay. On with the show then. Brazil, five rounds adrift after five, but showing commendable heart and grit here and has already revised a lot of people's opinions of it whatever happens from here there were some saying no it doesn't belong at this level too raw too inexperienced well brazil is showing he's certainly got the heart to go a long way in this business even if the technique is lacking and the technique of course is lacking he's only been boxing for about eight nine years 
he doesn't even look naturally powerful. The punches he's throwing are kind of prodding punches Brazil. So we have to question the 15 knockouts that he scored. I wonder if he's going to ground people down or whatever. But, you know, he, he, he's not balanced like a puncher. Have a look through uh, Brazil's record. There's no real standout tough guys that he's fought. You know, no. the guys he fought, the typical journeyman. Um, and he's obviously got those knockouts against him. So against a real world-class opponent, we haven't really seen him yet. And he's, he's shown here that he's, he's tough. He's, he's got that world-level toughness. But other than toughness and durability, I haven't really seen anything in terms of speed, you know, yeah, punch no variety. Snap, no, no snap on his punches, that's right, they're kind of cumbersome looking shots. And the, and the snap will actually get lessened the more he gets punched. Yep. The more punishment he takes, the slower he'll be, and the less impact his own punches will have. So he needs to start moving his head or doing something different. Meanwhile, he is taking absolutely nothing out of Anthony Joshua whatsoever. He's just picking his shots. It looks like it looks like a sparring session. It looks like this is he's, go, he's going through emotions, picking his shots, practicing stuff, jabbing downstairs, jabbing upstairs, not taking anything back in the process, and doing a, a, a real world-class job yeah, on I'm Brazil. Really, I'm really interested with Joshua tonight. But I uh, remember the statement we read so often: if he hits you, he knocks you out. But this fellow's still here, so full credit to him. Absolutely. Josh looks a little bloodied around the nose. I'm not sure he got hit with. I didn't see any shots uh, land from Brazil, but his nose is a little bloody. I haven't seen that before. Yeah, you're right. And Brazil, in the last minute of this sixth round, on the front foot a little bit. That could give that could give Brazil a bit of a boost, seeing a bit of a damage to put, um, Joshua's face there. Well, this is maybe the time when Joshua can catch him coming forward with that big right hand or the left hook. Get the job done, because it, this could become heavy weather. The, the temperature in here tonight is really hot. A terrific shot again from and Joshua. And Brazil has just soaked it up. I'd like to see a little bit more punch variety from Joshua. He's throwing, the sim he's throwing similar punches. You know, the one-two left hook, the left hook, right hand. I'd like to see him sort of vary it with a left hand. Maybe left hook, left uppercut. Do some different, do some different things in there. Uh, well, a little bit of chin chat as the bell went there. Brazil's the perfect opponent to practice stuff on. He really is. You can really go out there. He can do what he likes out there. So give me some different looks. Or play, play with a guy. It's a, it's, a, it's a fair point, David Bates, isn't it? We're, we're, not we're, we're not looking at the hooks. We're not looking at the body work. Not looking at the hooks. We, we are seeing more of the same. And it's working, so why would you change it? Yeah. Uh... Uh, I mean, I think, uh, well, when you're against, against tough guys, they can break themselves for the straight punches like this here. But this is where the left hook would do the job, catch exactly. him in the chin. But this is where the left hook, I think, is the weapon they should be using. When a tough fighter can see the right hand coming straight, you know, you break your shoulder muscles, your neck muscles, and you can take the punches. We're doing that. But, uh, I, mean, I, mean, I, I have to commend them. It's a good performance. You know, his control, his concentration, he's taking virtually nothing back. Joshua needs to try not to telegraph his punches as much as he's doing here. You can see the right hand coming. That's why Brazil, with his slow reflexes, is able, up, to, up until this point, to brace it and take the shot on the glove. You know, he needs to... There you go. But Joshua needs to mix it up a little bit. Throw a few more combinations, put them together. Round seven, then. Brazil starting to up the tempo of his own work. And that's what he gets in return, a three-punch combination upstairs that rocks the head back. And then Joshua goes to work and puts him on the floor. When you saw Brazil's head but not back in the points, that's when you know he was really hot. He didn't have the neck muscles that test for that one. And that's just not the fight over. George Holmes over. Can Joshua get the finish here in round seven? Everybody on their feet. Brazil. Brazil put a bit of pressure and landed some shots of his own. He came back with that.